I told you to stay away from me and my family! Yeah. Don't insult me again and you're going straight back inside. You've had your chance. Say, say the speech, yeah? I'm going for good. Two conditions. What? I want the truth about my dad. I deserve that. Second, that money my nan gave you is mine. It belonged to my dad, so it belongs to me. Money, the truth, and I'll leave your family alone. The truth? Your dad was a sick paedophile. Yeah, according to you and your lane, skank of a step. You don't boy. like it, it don't matter. It was all over the news. Everything he said in court, everything that he went away for. So that's the truth. Live with it. Interfering with young girls. The apple didn't fall far from the tree, did it? You're Tony King's son. You're a proper little nonce. <laughs> You're not getting nothing from me and my family. Well, I guess I'll see you around. All of you. Have a word with your boss. I mean, I'll just tell him you need some time to rest. Yeah. It's not what it looks like. Liar! No, just, just let me explain. Don't say another word. Don't you dare move. I will sort this out my way. No, Mum, just, just listen. Just, just, just listen, please. You never listen. Just get. In the car. No, you, you, you never listen. Leo, 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 Bought flowers earlier to take up to All Saints Cemetery. Who'd you know out there? Because as far as I know, you're you're not from around here, are you? <laughs> yeah. I know it's confusing. Mm. Let me explain. Yeah. It's quite simple. <laughs> you forget about the flowers. You take your nose out of my business and you leave me and Whitney alone. Yeah. Or what? Or else I will know someone's buried up at All Saints. Do you understand me? You ain't got a bottle. Hello? Wait, you need to get out of here. It's Leo, he's not who he says he is. I can't hear what you're saying. Uh, he's Tony's son, Wait, I just spoke to Mum. Leo is Tony's son. You never said. Never said he had a son. It doesn't matter what he said. Here I am. And what? You want revenge? Why would I want revenge? Hmm? Because we're the family Tony left you for. No. He never cared about any of you. Then what do you want? I want the truth. No, I ain't. Whitney! No! <laughs> Whitney! No! Whitney! Whitney! Tony started abusing me when I was 12 years old. Don't muck Leo. about, Whitney. Leo. You want the truth? You let me tell it my way. But 
he abused me. For four years. No. Yeah. Groomed me, manipulated me, and had sex with me when I was... You're tired. lying! I'm not lying! You don't even know it. Look, you're, you're so twisted. You actually believe it. That's what Bianca did to you. Bianca didn't do anything. Stop lying! You lied to the police. You lied in court. Right? You tried to see him because you felt guilty because you knew you stitched him up. You knew he was going down for something that he didn't do, and then <laughs> he killed himself because of you! I don't have a father because of you! Just confess it! I can't! Confess it! I can't and I won't! I won't! Ten years! Ten years of ruining every relationship that I've had! Not being able to trust a bloke ever! Ten years of trying to find out the truth of why that happened to me! Why would I lie about something like that? He nearly destroyed my life! And it has killed me to get to this point where I can actually say that, yeah, yeah, I was abused. And no, it was not my fault. Leo, it wasn't your fault that he left you. Don't you dare. We're both his victims. Don't you dare. Don't you really think you could hurt me? You really think you could hurt me after everything that I've been through? He was a paedophile. He was a paedophile and he abused me from when I was 12 years old. He stole my childhood. Nearly destroyed my life. Don't let him destroy yours. <sighs> I shouldn't have, should have believed you. Ever come near me again. You're sick. Sick just like your father. I'm sorry. Mum. Mum, I'm sorry. Mum, I'm sorry. Just listen. Mum. Mum, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, he's gone. He's safe. I can't hurt you anymore. Come on. <laughs> and quite frankly, I think you can do better. <laughs> What's the matter? Can we go, please? Can we go? It's not a good feeling, is it? being followed. Just leave Whitney alone. Doing what you're doing, hanging around here, scaring her. It's weak. It lessens you. I know you're an intelligent bloke. You're young. You could have a good future if you just pick yourself up and move on. I'm not hanging around. I'm building a life for myself. I've got a job. No people are like. I could be happy here. This could be my future. No, mate. You can't force yourself into people's lives. You can't force people to like you. Whitney isn't interested. So just get the message. And consider this your month's notice from work. Fine. But you can't get rid of me. The police, they haven't pressed charges, so... Unless you're going to hit me, I suggest that it's you who gets the message. So, how much do you want it taken in? Uh, don't know really. Might want it taken up. <laughs> Leo! Leave it! It's one omission. Where's the local boozer? Oi! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! 
arrest you, mate. Callum Highway, I'm arresting you for ABH. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you later rely on me for. Anything you... This is all in my past, yeah? And I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Yes, you can. Stay away from me. No, don't say that. You don't mean that. Yes, I do mean it. But I love you. Uh, we've got a new stallholder starting later on today, selling protein shakes, etc. Gap in the market. If you could make them feel welcome, that would be appreciated. Yeah, of course, no problem. It would be nice to have someone there. Yeah. Who is it? Uh, oh, this young man, Leo King. Martin. Whitney. Well, you know each other. We're old friends. That'll make it easier. Right, I'll show you round. anything about any phone calls. Yes, you do, you scumbag. Oh, calm down, eh? Where's your proof? Take a ticket and wait in line, you. I'll get to you in a minute. Close your side, didn't you, Dotty? Supposed to be my family. <laughs> uh... <coughs> <coughs> Wanna mess with people's businesses, do ya? Mr. Purvey? You're paying for that. Yeah. Well, uh, Shrimpy saw Mr. Lister earlier. Mm -hmm. Someone's grasped you up about cow working on the store without a license. You dirty okay, okay, okay. Well, filthy! Well, Walk away. Come on. Yeah. 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 Dropping them into the market, Inspector. Ah, morning. Oh, the alarm didn't go off. You missed me. Pressing my buttons all morning. Have you seen anything to win? You better not be talking to me. You better not even be looking in my direction. I just want to know if Whitney's OK. <sighs> She's great. Yeah, never better. Terrified to step outside, dreading her phone ringing. She's tickety-boo. Why don't you do one? Really? Yeah, really. And don't look at me like that. I've got your number. Like father, like son. Oh, nice dress. Yeah, it takes years off you. You can pass for 50 now. Is that the best you can do? No, actually. Yeah, I bet a filthy brass like you goes all the way for Oi. that. No, Oi. no cushion. No. Oh, yeah, I've got a couple of minutes. Let's go down the side of the pub. Oh. Yeah, it won't be the first time you had your back up against the brick wall. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, oh, come on, yeah. Here he comes, here he comes, on his white charger. Good on you, cat. I mean, if you're gonna have a pimp, go for a muscled-up meter. Shut your mouth! Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, I bet you've seen tons of people cycling in London. Well, I present to you the one, the only, the original, the Wolford bike. Let's hear it for cat, everyone. Woo! Yeah! Oh. Oh. Over, right? I'm so proud of you. What's he doing in here? Whip. Fancy a drink? Hey, you don't talk to that. It's a free country. I'm not in here, right? This is Mark F. I don't know Egg. Oh, we'll best tell the store wrecking that then, eh? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be getting a bill. Yeah, I'll know where to stick it. Oh, Joy Prison. That's him. Are you joking? <laughs> Serves you right. Oh, yeah, playing the big man? No, huh? playing detective. Go on, take them away, boys. Anyways. Thanks, You 
stay away from me. You've been wasting police time. Well, it's okay. I spoke to them. Put them straight, they understand now. What do you mean? Well, as soon as they found out how damaged you are, how hard you find it to trust a man, even one that you're in love with. They know how much you've harassed me. So I made a few phone calls and sent a few texts. I mean, shame on me for being such a romantic. It's not as if you never called me, is it? Agreed to meet? Eh? They understand things a lot clearer now. They know about my dad. They know we're both victims. Get away from her. Oh, back off! Don't taste the mystery, you wait! One learn, ya! She was the one who approached me. Now, it's typical of her behavior. It's like I told the officer at the station. She came up to me, and then Kush just suddenly appeared. He lunged at me. I didn't stand a chance. Your version of events doesn't exactly tally up with the witnesses. Ah, those witnesses being my girlfriend, who had you lot on my back this morning over some jumped-up harassment allegation, and her mate. Well, this is your lucky your battling break. Yeah, just my ribs. Lucky me. You know, they're all in it together. I never thought they'd try and kill me. Neva. No. Hardly seen anyone. He couldn't get justice for himself. He couldn't make you pay for what you did. But I can. I just, I can't, I can't get any peace. Don't you get it? I just, I can't get my... My head around it. You out here, walking around, not a care in the world, and, he, and him in the grave. And I never will get any peace. Not until you're in there, too. Oh, my God. 